Sometimes devil's act is activating white coats. Set up tactics, fascinating our throats. Pushing our coats, pop blows, dosing oxyco until we choke. But we're too dope to even know we're feeling. So we hold our nose, they hold our dough, and we go dive into the lows like, whoa. Uh, Purdue Pharma, aim assist, they twist descriptions, pay the doctors to list prescriptions, create this opera while the FDA orchestrates it all. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free letter R. Pirate not included. What's going on, YouTube? It's Noxil, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, today is Friday. The greatest day on planet Earth. It is New Year's Eve, and we are back with more ERB. Now, you guys know I read the comments of good, the bad, the ugly, the troll, and this is definitely one of the next highest requested ones. It is none other than Blackbeard versus Al Capone. But before we go any further, I'm going to give a quick shout out to the song in the intro. If you guys like that, listen, I have a brand new album, Blacklist. We made history on this channel. I charted on iTunes for the first time ever. I'm so proud of it, guys. So much time, blood, sweat, and tears, heart, and soul put in this one. If you guys want to support the channel directly, I'll put the links to that below. But anyways, anyways, we know what we're here for. ERB, it's your time to shine. Step back up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Two, one. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I love the characterizations on ERB. They are always on point. Look at the the crazy eyes of Blackbeard. Wow, it's gonna haunt my nightmares tonight. Already with the scallywag. Swagger pirates, infamously known as scallywags. You know they're they're bastards. They're scallywags. They're scoundrels, aren't they? But also the swagger with which he walks. But swagger back then was also that was booty, wasn't it? That was loot swagger that you could get. And then he walks under the black flag, the black flag that we know as the pirate flag. But actually, fun fact about pirate flags: if it was a crimson flag, that meant that they were, yeah, that. They were just going to kill you. They weren't going to take prisoners. They weren't going to parlay or play nice. If it was a crimson flag, it was, you're fucked. Yeah, there we go. So not that many pirates actually flew under the uh, the black flag. And then the six pistols, because during those times with the uh, salt water in the air and the way that guns were made, they weren't always that reliable. So if you were on a ship at a fight for your life, you would want multiple pistols because if one misfired, you could always grab another one. Please ignore the child that is uh, throwing a tantrum in the other room. It's fine. They get murdered occasionally. Perfectly normal. <laughs> I'm an irate pirate. I love the way that it, he bent that into the rhyme scheme. And again, just a lot of metaphors, a lot of words being used that relate to pirates. In this case, a synonym for a pirate, a buccaneer. He's a swashbuckling buccaneer. Epic beat, too. Ooh, beef with me, please, on the high C Caesar, because normally Caesar salad comes with chicken. But if you want beef, if you want rap beef in this case, you don't you don't want that beef. He's the high C Caesar, but also could be like he's like the emperor of the seas taking over. And then the lines before, like no parrot on his shoulder, no rings, because he's like, fuck that pirate stereotype, all right? I'm a proper pirate. I will rape and pillage your village. That's what pirates should be. Nice. Oh, you're in. Oh, hang on. That internal scheme, baby. Degrees beneath, the deep degrees beneath the deep freezer. He gets really punchy in this next line. Obese, greasy sleaze. Greasy sleaze squeezing a disease, Peter. Wow. To bend all of that in. That was a tongue twister right there and a half. Squeezing a disease, Peter, because uh, Mr. Al Capone, he got around with the women. And uh, he had lots of unprotected sex. So he got a, he got old syphilis. How's that for STDs? My cold heart is many degrees beneath the deep freezer. You're an obese, greasy sleaze, squeezing a disease, Peter. Also obese because, yeah, Al Capone liked his food. He was very fat. He weighed like 250 pounds or something. 
that no skeezer would touch you. I wouldn't touch him with a 50-foot pole, but in this case, no skeezer, like a skeez, a woman, like a dirty woman, wouldn't touch you with 50-foot tweezers. Why the tweezers instead of the pole? Well, tweezers fits in with the E's, the E-E rhyme scheme, but also tweezers maybe because he has a tiny PP and it's not a proper ERB if we don't have a dick joke. Classic. Please squeeze it into these breeds are that no skis are what touch if she had 50 foot tweezers. Don't stop. Oh my god, and then Peter also because nice Peter. Come on. The meta is real. Please squeeze it into these breeds are that no skis are what touch if she had 50 foot tweezers. Don't start a war with me. You're not hardcore. I'll pimp slap those great scars of yours. Ah, don't start a war with me. You're not hardcore because he goes off the dick joke. Get it hardcore like hardcore porn, but also you're not like you're not hardcore like a pirate. Tweezers. Don't start Nice. Again, again, lots of just pirate word choice within the raps, which I really like. Staying in tune, in character. Port and starboard. Port is left, starboard is right, so he'll slap your face left to right and slap you on up. Ooh, if you drop the soap as little as you drop dope rhymes. I mean, normally if you drop the soap, because you have to bend down and pick it up. I don't know where else he's going with that. Would you? Would you like to comment down below? Stop it. Get your mind out of the gutter. Behave yourselves. This is a family-friendly channel, if you can't tell by the screaming children in the background. Uh, Capone went to Alcatraz, didn't he? But he went to Alcatraz. Not for all the criminal bad guy shit that he did. He went to Alcatraz because it wasn't the FBI who caught him. It was the IRS. And the IRS catches everyone. Tax evasion. It's a bitch. Alcatraz, I'm sure you are fine. If you drop the soap, my little ass got dropped over. So he's saying, you know, there wasn't a lot of things happening in Alcatraz if you weren't dropping the soap because you, you really can't drop dope rhymes, can you? He's saying, you suck at rapping. Spend time in Alcatraz, I'm sure you are fine. If you drop the soap, my little Actually, he really did suck at rapping because he didn't wrap it up, did he? That's how you get syphilis, people. Oh, Lloyd always lends himself well being a New Yorker to the, uh, you know, the tough guy East Coast style accent. But Capone was Chicago, wasn't he? But he's talking like the mafioso type of voice, even his gangster demeanor and persona. And why they got to do Johnny Depp like that? I just processed that. No. I mean, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean, we made like 20 of them. Kind of got dragged out towards the end. But the first one, man, I love the first one. Johnny Depp was a beast. He was Captain Jack Sparrow. Who doesn't love him? Don't be mean. And then the uh, the Captain Crunch, because Captain Crunch is a delicious cereal, but it's also a fake pirate, so he's trolling him. You're a fake Captain Crunch pirate. See, man, Captain Crunch, I'll make this quick. I'm ruining pirates faster than Johnny Depp did. I ain't <laughs> syphilis yet. You're a huge dick. Scurvy ridden <laughs> shit filled with bilge rat pricks. Scurvy ridden shit filled with bilge rat pricks. Wow. We're really going all in on the uh, the ship word choice today. Bilge. Isn't that where the uh, the outer curve meets the internal curve? That I, I don't know. The hull of the ship. It's something. Some, part of a ship all right let's go with that but also bilge could be like what what would bilge be nonsensical rubbish bilge rap pricks anyways call you prick <laughs> we're in an intricate criminal syndicate to show respect again the internal schemes on this man i like these Mm. <laughs> oh, the poop deck on a ship, but also the poop deck. You're gonna get it shoved up your own poop deck. What's that do for you? That's pretty shitty. <laughs> slapping bitch ass teacher since I was 14 because he literally got expelled for, from school for slapping the shit out of a teacher. And then also playing off of Blackbeard's actual name, which was Edward Teach Teaches. Nice play on that. Up your deck. Bitch -ass teaches back since I was 
14, you ain't a tough guy. My kids dress up like you, Valoi. You and your buddies and burn your. Oh, man. Why do pirates decide to become pirates? Because they are. Okay, I'm done. I'm done, I swear. It wasn't that funny, was it? But uh, I like the uh, the Halloween lines. Obviously, we all get that one. All right? If you dressed up as a pirate for Halloween, I'm sorry. Your mom sucks. You never show sure up your poop deck. Slapping bitch-ass teachers back since I was 14. You ain't a tough guy. My kids dress up like you following. I used that fuse in your hat to light up you and your buddies and burn your cell down and collect the insurance. Then they <laughs> yeah. Uh, typical tactic. Of the uh, mafioso gangsters at the time, you know, burn a building down, collect the insurance money on it, but also collect the insurance money could be like for protection because mobs involved in a lot of racketeering of local businesses at the time. And then uh, Blackbeard with the fuse in his hat. What was the story? He used to have like candles in his hair and like fuses in his hair and he would light himself literally like on fire, like smoke coming out of him because he wanted to be like demonic and menacing. But actually he's got a pretty badass story in terms of how he went. Uh, because in in the final fight, the anecdotes from that are, you know, he was cut up like 15 times and he was even shot and he fought on and they say he just fought like a demon possessed, but eventually got his head chopped off in the end by, uh, what's the name of the dude? John Maynard. Yeah. Yeah, it was made. Teachers back since I was 14. You ain't a tough guy. My kids dress up like you follow me. I used that fuse in your hat to light up you and your buddies and burn your sailboat down and collect the insurance money. <laughs> then maybe they find your bloated body dead and wash the And then sailboat too. Could be a, a little bit more intricate play because uh, Blackbeard's first ship was actually a French merchant ship? No, it was a French slave ship, I think. But yeah, anyway, so he commandeered a French ship and then converted it into a pirate ship. And burn your sailboat down and collect the insurance money. Then maybe they find your bloated body dead and washed up on a beach. It's a Capone rap, and I'm capping this captain. A beach? Right. Ooh, oh, I'm capping this captain. Oh, that might be my favorite wordplay so far. I use something similar to that on my uh, Marvel villain cipher with nerd out shout out to nerd out music but cap in this captain like he's busting a cap in that ass but also cap plays on captain could also be like blackbeard is coming with a lot of cap and then they'll find your bloated body again referencing the fact that uh he was separated head from his body so they just let his body wash up somewhere while uh they returned his head to collect the money the ransom money, not ransom money, the uh, bounty on his head. And then Capiche, you know, again, very mafioso Italian, Capiche. Massacre brought you. Beach, it's a Capone rap, and I'm capping his captain. A beach. Right. The Valentine's Massacre brought your condemnation. But I'm gonna sink you faster than your income tax evasion. When ah, there it is. Your income tax evasion. Oh, man. The IRS, the ultimate enemy of Capone. Massacre brought your condemnation. And then the Valentine's Massacre, that was when uh he had a bunch of his men dress up as, as popos. And they took out a rival gang. They lined them up like they were doing a, a search on them. And then they just blasted them with machine guns. And he never actually got in trouble for the Valentine's Massacre. Also, the Valentine's Massacre, shout out to the 50 Cent album, which was named after that of Capone's Valentine's Massacre. But, you know, you got to remember a lot of these guys at the time, they're like the equivalent of, uh, you know, like narcos. You know, they were they were bad guys, but they were like anti-heroes. Like the public just loved them. Like celebrities, actors, actresses, businessmen. They used to mix at these extravagant clubs with these mafia dudes and with these criminals. And these criminals would give back to the communities in which they lived. They gave back to the poor communities. A, a typical thing is, you know, support the community, commit a lot of crime. People will turn their head the other way because they're giving more money, more infrastructure, helping that community more than the government actually is. So people kind of tend to root for them. And that's what they would do. And they would help them get away with doing horrible things. But in this case, when you get a, just a bunch of people that are just, you know, executed essentially, unarmed, and the newspaper plasters pictures of that all over the streets, all the bloody massacre, yeah, it's not going to help your popularity ratings. That's for certain. Right, I'm going to sink you faster. Again, the it's so clever, the writing, though, because, again, we have so much ship imagery relating to it. Even when Capone trolls him, saying he's sitting in a little sailboat, oh, that's so cute, but here he's going to sink you, like sink your dreams, sink you and your career, sink you like a ship. Sink you faster than your income tax evasion. When I toss you overboard like 
the mob abomination. So prepare to learn the Davy Jones locker combination. <laughs> Davy Jones locker sends you down to Davy Jones's locker in the deeps. But in this case, he's playing off of the literal meaning of locker and the combination. Lord, like a mob abomination. So prepare to learn the Davy Jones locker combination. Forty cannon on the Queen Anne. Your gang can't stop it. I'm 40 Cannon on the Queen Anne. So the Queen Anne was the name of that French slave ship that he commandeered, and then he souped it up with 40 Cannons on it and made it a badass pirate ship. Learn the Davy Jones Locker combination. 40 Cannon on the Queen Anne. Your gang can't stop it. I'll pilfer all your rum and sell it back at the profit. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a clever line. That's a good one. Playing off of the uh, Prohibition days. When alcohol was illegal in our country and a lot of the gangsters used to run it, right? So Capone would definitely be running rum. Pirates like run. Captain Jack Sparrow, baby. Come on, let's go. Bring him back into the limelight. But, uh, you know, he would basically steal his run and sell it as a profit. His run? Rum? Can I talk today? I swear I can sometimes. And then again, like words, the word choice, pilfer, right? Instead of just saying I'll steal it, I'll, I'll pilfer. Just so piratey. What an epic beat. Ooh. That hurt. I like the disrespect on that one. Because again, syphilis, if untreated, goes into your spinal cord, into your brain. So in this case, it did. He had a, I don't remember the name of it, braino syphilis. Let's call it that. That's my medical term for the day. But yeah, it was untreated. So, And think about the names. Well, Al Capone is a pretty cool name, if I'm being honest with you. But Blackbeard... Yeah, Blackbeard's pretty epic. I'm going to name my next child Blackbeard. With a bad ass day, you're a fat song with an STD in his brain. Come on, they chopped your head off when they hung up from a rope. You only love the fuck? Song with an STD in his brain. Come on, they... Why is there an... Ass oh, yeah, because it's sponsored by Assassin's Creed. There's just a, an Assassin's Creed character just chilling behind Capone there. Chopped your head off when they hung up from a rope. The only legend you left was your prohibition on soap. I mean, Woo! Oh, <laughs> I like that one. The Prohibition days, Prohibition on alcohol, pirates smell bad, they could definitely use with soap and a shower, so he had a Prohibition on soap, I like that. And then yeah, he had his head chopped off, tied to a rope on the side of Maynard ship as he sailed off with it, showing yeah, I fucked you up like that. <laughs> this bum could get my just the, the cadence of Lloyd's delivery is great, man. Rat's nest for a beard. It's got a bunch of rodents in there. He could he could survive on that. Because, again, he's saying, you you smell bad. You're stinky. And uh, you just you, you need a shower. You don't have very good hygiene. Rat's nest, again, more ship terms and references. Oh, no, I'm thinking crow's nest, but yeah. There's bed strapped so many crumbs. This bum who got Barona still in lunch for a month. I'm the MC assassin. Oh. Like Edward Kenway. Okay, well, uh. Violence is fun. Look at this. I mean, he's just, yep, sword to the face. Ooh, right through the heart. MC assassin slash like Edward Kenway. I'm guessing Edward Kenway is a Assassin's Creed reference. What was the name of the Assassin's Creed they were promoted? Black Sail, wasn't it? Black Flag? Can't remember. <laughs> I like how the beat just drops out for that punchline. Al dente, rap so hard when you have food. Al dente, which is the proper way to have pasta, people. Listen, here's your tip. Next time you're cooking pasta, if it says cook it for 10 minutes, cook that bitch for 7 minutes. All right, pull it out because it'll keep cooking. Because once you put the sauce on it, the sauce cooks it. Think about it. If you cook it for 10, it's already cooked. Then it keeps cooking because all the steam traps itself. Then you put the sauce on and then it gets overcooked and it's too soft. Okay? Pasta better when it's got just a little bit i'm not saying it's got to be crunchy just a little bit to it you know what i'm saying al dente it's gonna save lives slope john b beach boys uh caribbean reggae song slope john b but a slope is a type of ship sailboat kind of and wasn't his head attached to a slope, but slope John B. Take your slope John B and go home. Rap so hard, call me Al Dente. Thank you, slope John B and go home. And also wasn't the historical reference that started the song in the first place, the slope John B, because they all just basically got wasted and party all the time. They were just wild criminals on the John B. 
I think so. so hard, call me Al. <coughs> Thank you, Slip John Ben. Go home. Bell South Carolina, black man got composed. <laughs> Got pwned, like getting pwned in a game, playing off of his name, Capone. Very appropriate final Assassin's Creed shout out there as well. Tell South Carolina. Uh, fun theory about Blackbeard is that they say he was born in England, but I remember one scholar came up with this theory that he was actually born in South Carolina. And it relates also to the fact that uh, Blackbeard actually held the entire town of Charleston in South Carolina hostage and he had this huge blockade of the town and collected a bunch of hostages and just held them all for ransom the city's people and the and the trade routes around charleston and the funny thing was he didn't want gold he didn't ask for money they asked for a bunch of drugs they wanted medication because a lot of them which is ironic him dissing uh blackbeard a lot of them had syphilis and other stds and stuff and scurvy so they were literally given just like a box full of drugs. That's what they held the entire town of Charleston ransom for. Yeah, that's our fun uh, historical fact for the day. Let's keep it rolling. This beat was a good pace for this one. With the epic orchestral builds and strings and big hits. Yeah, Black Flag, that's the name of it. Are we done? I think we're done, aren't we? Yeah, we're done. I'm gonna get some water before I call a winner. Sorry guys, throat is killing me as we're on the road from sickness recovery. Who won this one? I like... I really like this battle. I've loved the punchy rhyme schemes that Blackbeard had. Capone had some good rhyme schemes. Lloyd had a great characterization of Capone. I think Capone hit a little bit harder with some of his disses. Good punchlines from both of them though. Very even battle in my opinion. But I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a slight edge to Capone on this one. Yeah. ERB? You were not so certified. So hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below any other ERBs you want to see me do or if there's other artists you want to see me check out. Listen, guys, if you're here at the end of this video, obviously enjoying the content, do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. Subscribe, notifications on. As always, it's your reminder. Stay safe, stay positive. It's Knox Hill. I'll catch you again. I'm out.